Hey, my name is Brian Robinson, and today I'm going to take you through an example of a cohort analysis. Before I do, though, I just want to mention this is Rob Woolen, our CTO and co-founder. And not long after I joined Sigma, uh, we had a meeting where he said something that stuck with me ever since, and that is that Sigma makes the simple things easy and the complex things possible. I think that cohort analysis is a great example of making the complex things possible. But in this case, it's not only possible, but it's also pretty easy. I'm going to start with our sample database connection via Snowflake. And I'll focus in just on some retail data from our uh, fictional store called Plugs Electronics. I want to explore this data, this table directly, which creates a brand new Sigma workbook for me. So this is retail data and every record represents a transaction at a cash register. First thing I want to do is understand what are the sales for 2020 by customer. So I'm going to create a child table and we're going to call this 2020 customer sales. Now, first thing I want to do is filter on the date to be 2020. So I'm actually going to duplicate the date column, truncate it down to yearly. And I see 2020 in here. I'll just say, keep only 2020. And now we're filtered down. Next, I want to group on my customer so we can get a total per customer. I'm gonna add a new column and leverage a simple Excel-like formula. We'll do the sum of the price times the quantity. And we'll call that 2020 sales. Format that as currency and I'll collapse my customers. Last thing I wanna do is sort descending. Now I need to do the same for 2021 so I'm just going to duplicate this element and I'll change the title 2021. We'll change our measure here to 2021. And of course, we're going to change our filter also to 2021. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to move this so it's side by side with my 2020 data. And the last part here is to just do a lookup. And so the original question was, for all my customers in 2020, what are their sales in 2021? So now I can add a column via lookup. All I'm doing here is looking up by customer name from the 2021 table, what their sales were. Okay, so I add the column via lookup. I'm saying look up from the 2021 customer sales table, their 2021 sales. We don't need to aggregate, it's already there and we're gonna map customer name to customer name. And then down below, it says there's 95% with matches. And that basically just means that about 5% of customers from 2020 were not customers in 2021. And we'll see that as we go along here. So I have 2020 sales, I have 2021 sales. I could do a calculation to see what's the growth uh, or the change year over year. So we can sort this descending and that actually puts the nulls at the top. So these are the customers who did not shop in 2021. If we want to keep only those. We can see the summary at the bottom here. We're down to those 408 customers. Now we have the opportunity to market to these customers who did shop with us in 2020 and see if we can get them to return and shop with us again. So this was an example of Sigma making the complex things possible. And in this case, pretty easy as well. A cohort analysis is a complex task and without the need for any significant technical skills, just the ability to work with a spreadsheet, I was able to get my answers and understand customer behavior from one year to the next. So thank you very much for your time and have a great day.